my mood had shifted. And that was when I realized that walking was really good for my body. You said that walking saved your life. How so? I went to college at 16. I had no idea what end was up. And it was really hard for me. And somewhere around my sophomore year, I started walking like four miles a day by myself. And it was how I found my footing. There was another time after my baby was born when your life is, feels like chaos and you think, I just can't. And, you know, you put the baby in the stroller, you know, and you go for a walk. And you suddenly feel like, oh, wait, maybe I can do this. Seeing what the benefits of walking did for her, it wasn't long before Joyce's family joined it. When my son became a teenager, I read someplace that the way to connect with your teenager is treat them like a wild animal and don't look them in the eye. <laughs> so, shoulder to shoulder, when people walk together, they are likely to sync up their steps, even if they're different heights. And it's that kind of synchronicity that helps to encourage people to connect and collaborate and communicate. While she walked, Joyce ran a successful e-newsletter called Macaroni Kid for families in over 500 communities. And after 12 years, she started to see a pattern. Women were hungry for connection. So she sold the digital platform and created a walking program called 99 Walks with her husband and business partner, Eric. We're on a mission to get a million women walking their way to better. So monthly walking challenges, a walk tracker, walking meditations, and this incredibly beautiful and supportive community that's encouraging women to connect and walk. We have a couple of words that we don't like in the 99 Walks community. Those are only and just. Always qualified. All this limiting language. And we celebrate every step. The business duo has also created a brand of walking poles called Jenny Poles to help maximize your regular walk. Walking with fitness poles like activate your core, your upper body, your abs, all of the muscle groups, all with a walk. And if you're having trouble taking that first step or feel like you don't have the time. Recognizing the power of even a 10 minute walk. A 10 or 15 minute walk can boost your energy and a 10 minute walk after a meal has really positive impact on your blood sugar levels. So when you're saying, I only have 10 minutes, so why bother? 10 minutes is fantastic. Just goes to show, a little walking can go a long way. Okay. Uh, Joyce suggests uh, in walking in two ways, intentional walks to keep track of your steps or mileage, or carve out time to walk with your friends. And then there's opportunistic walks for those moments when you feel like a little anxious or yeah. waiting for the kids to finish school or whatever. Just get out there and, and walk. You know, a lot. And she does a, a lot of her friends do it while their their kids are playing some sport, yeah. or soccer, or something like that. They walk around. The I, I could totally relate when she said, you know, you're, that overwhelming feeling when you have kids. And there was one day Brian told me to go for a walk, and I was offended and I was mad, and I'm like, you go for a walk, and then I'm like, fine, I'll go for a walk. I came back. Like a different, different person. person. Yeah, it's incredible. Was <laughs> you, know, you know what? I also want to sing your praises a little bit because we had a, a man call in on our radio show yesterday and he said that thanks to Al and watching his Instagram videos that he's inspired to walk. And I mentioned to you, my mom called me out of the blue mm -hmm. the other day and said, you tell Al I really enjoy his videos because it makes me, oh, hi, mom. <laughs> she said that his videos have inspired her to get out and start walking. So, mm -hmm. and mom's like walking. Like, it doesn't and, have to be. And anybody can do it. You yeah. have to take special equipment. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Just get it, boom, you're done. Hey, 